The gold prices have had an unprecedented run in the month of April with prices hitting all-time highs on most days of this month on the back of short covering, speculative positioning and widening conflict in Middle East. While the global gold prices hit all-time highs above $2400 an ounce, the Indian gold prices are holding well above 72000 rupees per 10 grams which was last year at around 56000 rupees per 10 grams. While the gold prices have gained 14% in this year, it is much higher than the 13% gains that 2023 saw in all here. Gold prices have been taking support from safe haven buying on the back of higher inflation, expectation of interest rate cuts from the global central banks and also the geopolitical tensions. The geopolitical tensions lead to countries moving out of fiat currencies and into gold as we have seen happen over past months. The other factor that would support gold is the rising crude oil prices. Crude oil is up 18% in this year till time on the back of supply disruptions at Red Sea, Russian oil facilities attacked by Ukraine drones, Israel Hamas conflict and the Iran factor and then the OPEC output cuts as well. Higher crude oil means higher inflation adding buying support to gold which is a safe haven for inflation. The gold prices have clogged longest winning streak since early 2023 in the last couple of months itself. The higher targets from Wall Street banks and brokerages are suggesting that the gold prices can surge to $2500, even $3000 an ounce on the higher side with the current momentum and that liquidation when it comes would be a sharp one and a buying opportunity nonetheless. While there are most banks also telling you that wait for a healthy correction which can go all the way down to 2200 even 2000 dollars per ounce but then by the time this year ends or in 2025 there are expectations that gold prices are headed to 2500 that is what UBS JP Morgan and Bank of America believe Bank of America also says that gold prices can go to 3000 dollars an ounce by 2025 there's a similar report from David Rosenberg suggesting that and then Citi as well says that 25 27 and $3000 an ounce in next year is quite a probability